Well, believe it or not, it's time for another visit to the Mask Fan Attic, because I couldn't say no just because you asked so nicely. <laughs> Moving right along, this week's mask in the Mask Fan Attic is a really weird one with a really weird name. This one, right here, created by Ed Edmonds of Distortions Unlimited. A very rare mask from a long time ago with the, the strange name of Zorheax. And that's spelled X-O-R-H-A-A-X, Zorhax. And old Zorhax here uh, was uh, created by Ed Edmonds in about 1980 or 1981, somewhere in there when he was just starting out making these really cool original uh, space aliens who looked like um, refugees from either the old uh, classic Outer Limits TV series or maybe the Star Wars uh, Cantina from... The 1977 Star Wars, you know, the Cantina, the Moss Eisley, you remember that? Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's sort of sort of what he looked like. But uh, as you can see, he's a very nice uh, color. He's kind of a kind of a muted purple color, and he's got a lot of the trademark Ed Edmonds um, sculptural details and and distinguishing characteristics of a distortions mask from that period. Now, the strange thing about this guy is that he doesn't appear to have been cataloged in any of the early distortions catalogs or brochures or flyers and I know because I, I had most of them and I looked through them and I couldn't find this guy when I was asked which uh, wasn't until the year 2013 at which time um, a costume shop which had gone out of business because as you know there used to be a lot of costume shops back in the 1980s every city had a costume shop or two but there aren't that many of them now because but back in the 80s that was before the uh, the big seasonal Halloween chain stores uh, took over a lot of the business so there were lots of uh, small costume shops all over the place back then and one that had gone out of business some years ago uh, had some old stock that somebody found there were some boxes of masks still uh, still in bags and everything still with some old newspapers stuffed in them from back in the 80s and uh, well everybody could tell this was a distortions mask the the guy that found it and the mask collectors he asked you could tell for one thing it's unmistakably the style and uh, of Ed Edmonds sculpting and it's also got the telltale sign of being made of this black or very dark gray latex rubber and um, well most masks were made of uh, like natural latex which is just more of a tan color whereas distortions back in the 80s Ed made all of his masks out of black rubber so that was another indication and I don't know if you can see it but the official distortions unlimited rubber stamp was used on the clay sculpture as was the custom back in the day when Ed Edmonds was sculpting these wonderfully cool very trend-setting original aliens and putting the distortion on the stamp. Well, this one of these was found and it was sort of rotting and cracking and the neck was falling apart and the uh, gloss was all cracked off the eyes. It didn't look too, too great, but um, a number of collectors took interest because we all thought we knew all the old distortions masks and here was one that none of us could remember seeing. And uh, a couple of people contacted me about it and said, uh, yeah, hey, Dr. Lady, do you, did you ever have one of these? Do you know what this was? And when did this come out? And how many of them were there? And I looked through dozens of old uh, photo albums of mask photos that I have. I looked through all the old catalogs and brochures, and I couldn't find anything on it, except I finally found uh, one picture that I thought maybe contained this and he, it's kind of to the side and you can't see very much of it. It was down in a corner of the shot. It wasn't a very good picture but I thought that looks like that guy. Maybe that's the one. So uh, I sent that to the people who asked and, and we weren't sure but we thought eh, maybe that was it. Well, uh, Jordu Shell, of course, was uh, one of the people who was asked. Now, if you if, if you haven't heard of Jordu, he's one of the top names in uh, monster and mask sculpting. Worked on tons of great movies. Just has a fantastic imagination and uh, does really good uh, sculpting. And Jordu is uh, also uh, the co-star of Making Monsters, the weekly TV series starring Ed Edmonds as himself. If you haven't seen it, it's a, it's a reality show type of thing, but it's about making monsters. Now, Jordu, who is on the show with Ed, as I just mentioned, is a huge fan of early distortions, a big fan of Ed Edmonds' work. He went bananas and had to find one of these at any cost. 
and he asked all the mask collectors in the known universe and nobody had one and Jardu was just freaking because he felt like he needed this to complete his collection of 80s distortions masks and and nobody really had one so uh, I couldn't help him nobody could I never had one I didn't even remember seeing a picture of it but sure enough in one old photo eh, maybe that was it but uh, anyway um, Jardu finally found one uh, somebody had one that, w that they were willing to part with uh, online. He found a guy that had one. Jordu ended up paying $2,500 for one of these. And this was an eBay uh, transaction. So there were a number of other collectors bidding against uh, Jordu on it. But he ended up paying 2500 bucks for just, you know, a rubber mask from 1981 or whatever that looks like this. So this guy became one of the most uh, expensive masks ever. And uh, Jordu took the mask, took his, his prize, uh, this great mask, uh, with him to Mask Fest in the year 2013 to show Ed. Uh, because, see, meanwhile, we had all asked Ed if he remembered this mask and sent him pictures of the rotted copy that was found. He didn't remember it. But Ed doesn't remember a lot of things from the 80s. You'll find that's, that's true. But, he couldn't remember. He said, yeah, it's definitely one of mine, but I don't, I don't know what it was called or anything. I don't remember even ever seeing it, but yeah. But uh, Jordu took this to Mask Fest because he wanted Ed Edmonds to sign it because Jordu was convinced that for his 2,500 bucks, he got the rarest distortions mask ever, this early Ed Edmonds creature that nobody else had. And when he uh, pulled it out to show everybody at Mask Fest, as fate would have it, about four other people walking by happened to have the same exact mask and said, hey, I got one just like that. And, and there was a, 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 some chick there that had two of them, and she pulled them out, and she said, oh, yeah, I bought some of those two. And Jordu was standing there with Ed Edmonds looking at him and just, you know, you can imagine how he felt. He paid $2,500 for one of these, and now what? All the collectors at MaskFest somehow picked one up, and everybody has one? And he was not happy with Ed, but uh, it was a very weird moment. So uh, I do have one more thing I want to tell you about this great mask. But first, it's time for this brief intermission. Just a minute, folks. Yes, that's all it takes to visit our refreshment counter in the lobby. There you'll find popcorn and an assortment of popular candy bars to please every taste. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Delicious things to eat. The popcorn can't be beat. The sparkling drinks are just dandy. The chocolate bars and the candy. So let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. The next show will start in one minute. And we're back. Now, the only other thing I want to tell you about this guy is that everything I told you before was a complete and total lie. It wasn't actually made by Ed Edmonds, although uh, you could be fooled. It wasn't actually made by Ed Edmonds. It wasn't actually made in 1981. And none of that stuff really happened like I described it. That was just part of the big, the big scam. And his real name, it isn't, it isn't Zor Hayax. I just made that up just for this, uh, to tell you, just to fool you. There's no such name as Zor Hayax. No, his real name, if you rearrange those letters, yeah, switch them around, make an anagram of them, you get the closest thing to a real name he has, which is in fact Hoaxar. H-O-A-X-X-A-R. Which of course significantly starts with the word hoax. This whole thing was a hoax perpetrated by Jordu and about uh, four other collectors, including myself, uh, just to make Ed Edmonds question the nature of the fabric of reality and time and space as we know it. And Jordu Shell actually designed this with Ed Edmonds in mind and tried to create and sculpt something that could pass for an Ed Edmonds sculpture 
so convincingly that even Ed could be convinced he sculpted it. And it totally worked and he pulled it off. And that may not sound like much of a feat, but those of us who are familiar with the different sculpting styles of the different mask artists can appreciate how scholarly the approach had to be to come up with something uh, this authentic. Because even the way the wrinkles are done, those look like the way Ed Edmonds does wrinkles. Maybe he doesn't do them that way today, but in the 80s, he didn't have any of his own to cheat off of in the mirror and look at, so he sculpted, this is what they look like. Um, this, the color scheme, the way it's painted, the black shading here and there, the high gloss eyes, the fact that the eyes aren't where you actually look out of, uh, those are these holes, all this stuff makes it look like it really is an Ed Edmonds sculpture. And my favorite thing on it, I love the face, but my favorite thing on it is this right here, because a lot of Ed's early aliens had this effect uh, where it looked like Ed's two thumbs went, went down the clay and gave the aliens these weird sort of quasi Klingon uh, attributes like like this. This is actually my favorite part of it because this, if, if somebody showed me this and asked me who sculpted this, I would say yeah, absolutely Ed Edmonds. And in fact, it's so convincing that uh, my long-suffering wife Laura came home when I got one of these and saw it uh, sitting there on the table and she said, who's that about this mask? And I said, well, what's it look like? And the first thing Laura said without hesitation was, well, it looks like an early Ed Edmonds, but I don't remember him. That's how good it is, okay? And Laura's not as fanatical as uh, some of us are about this stuff. She even identified it instantly as an Ed Edmonds because it just has that look. All the signs are there. The black latex, the thickness of the latex, the gloss, everything is there. And Joy Du pulled this off and it made just a few of them, including the one for the picture that was all rotten and cracked and damaged. Uh, that was sent to Ed, you know, with the question, do you remember this and what is this and so forth, and uh, a, a few others, including the one that I have, and just a few other lucky humans uh, out there got, got these, and uh, we took them to Mask Fest. And then when uh, Jardu presented Ed Edmonds with the one he had supposedly paid over $2,000 for, uh, the rest of us were standing by to go, oh yeah, I got one just like that, just to make Ed feel well, I can't think of a single word to describe it, but there's an effect they use in the movies, you know, when somebody's freaking out. Did you ever see this effect they do where, like, you, you pull the camera in the opposite way that you're zooming, you see? And it gets the effect, that, that it creates an effect like the background is sort of racing up behind somebody all out of proportion, and they'll have the actor look like, ha ah, when it happens, and you get the weird... That's what Ed Edmonds looked like at that moment. And of course, this whole thing was being uh, filmed for an episode of the Making Monsters TV show. And Jordu just stood there looking at Ed like, what? I paid $2,500 for this and now everybody has one? What? And Ed was mortified and was very confused and didn't even remember this thing and didn't know why all these people had them. And then, of course, uh, it, it was admitted that ah, it was, this was all a joke and you fell for it, haha. -ha. And Ed was very confused still, and it was even more difficult to convince him that he didn't sculpt this than it was convincing him that he did initially. It was very difficult because I remember Ed standing there saying, You mean I didn't sculpt? Sure, I did. I must have. I, yeah. And we're like, No, 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 you really didn't. Jodu sculpted it. And Jodu even got hold of the original rubber stamp, which was another thing that fooled Ed because Ed gave Jardu the rubber stamp just because he thought Jardu would like it because Jardu collected distortion stuff. And he's like, hey, you want one of the rubber stamps? Yeah. Because when I do Ed Edmonds, it sounds like Jay Leno. Yeah. But anyway, he gave him the, and he did, didn't remember that he'd given it to him and this further convinced Ed that he had. So the whole thing was just to do a little prank for an episode of the Making Monsters TV show. Can you imagine the lengths people will go to just to prank somebody on this planet? Weird, huh? They're not like that on his planet. They're much more sensible. But uh, as such, as I, since I was one of the guys in on the joke, I, I treasure this thing. I will probably never, never sell him. I love Hoaxar, the evil purple alien, who I should mention, one more thing I should mention, who you will notice has a gloss on his eyes and teeth that has yellowed with age because he's an 80s mask and he's been around a long time. Actually, that's another Jordu uh, touch to make it convincing 
because if the paint and the, the gloss looked brand new and bright and perfect, you could tell this thing hadn't been around all those years, since 1980 and 1981. So that's another uh, thing that, that adds to the overall effect. What a great mask and a fun story. Uh, I have no idea if Ed ever got his revenge on Jordu for the public, uh, I don't know if humiliation is the word, but the public uh, weirdness, the public confusion. But uh, I expect he will probably get his revenge at some point, if he has not done so already. But uh, you might be able to find one of these because obviously a few exist. I highly recommend it because for one thing it's just a great mask if you don't know what it is. It's fun and it's cool and it's weird and it's scary and it's an awesome space monster. And it's uh, cool because of the joke. So uh, we'll be back again next time with another joke on you, the viewer.